Okay, today we're going to find out how to make a snail cam when you're doing parametric modeling. Uh, parametric is going to allow us to make edits to it later, all in one fell swoop. So we'll see how that is. So under Manage, Parameters, we're going to go ahead and set up a parameter of D. We're just going to call it 2 for right now. Let's say Done. Uh, we're going to start a sketch, 2D sketch. By the way, this is under 8.1. And we are working on number eight, letter B, I believe, for the snail cam. Uh, so we started our sketch. We're going to draw two construction circles. I want a construction circle on the outer aspect, and then a construction circle onto the inner, the middle section. So first one's going to be, so I did that through clicking construction, my circle. First diameter is going to be D. Second diameter is going to be D over 2. And that will go ahead and give us this inner boundary and that outer boundary. Uh, and from there, I'm going to go ahead and draw one of my lines, turn off construction, and we're going to get this line here. So we got the first line of the cam, which lines up with that right there. Now we need to find some points. We need to find a point for this, point here, and a point there. So the point down here is going to be midway between those two lines. The point over here is going to be three quarters the way over there. And then the point here is only going to be one quarter of the differential, and that's going to help us to provide a smooth, a smooth uh, lineup for when we put in our spline. So I've done some of the math for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place three points real quick. Then I'm going to go ahead and constrain them so that they're for sure on the right axes. Just doing vertical and horizontal constraints, clicking on a point, clicking on the axis, and we're good to go for that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension these. This one, like I said, is halfway between that circle and that. So doing the math, saving you the hassle. I'm going to click here, click there. And that one is going to be 0 0.375 times D. Dimension from here to there. Once again, this one's going to be 3 quarters the way over. That one's going to be 0 0.4375 times D. And finally, this one only being one quarter of the way over between the two. That one is going to be 0 0.3125 times D. So we have our points. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and underline. I'm going to go down to spline interpolation. Click on that. So I'll click on the top portion. Click on our first point, second point, third point, And finally back to the line. Right click, create. Uh, so then on this, you can see everything's all a little wonky. We're going to go ahead and make some tangency constraints. So we're going to click on the spline, click on our outer circle, click on the spline, click on our inner circle. Now things are starting to look more like that snail cam. Uh, we're going to slap another circle in the middle. That one's going to be the 3 16 uh, Okay, uh, to be safe as well, I'm going to close the loop on the uh, spline and line to make sure that everything's all connected up so our extrude will work fine. Um, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and finish our sketch. We're going to go ahead and hit our extrude and extrude that. We're going to come out 3 16 of an inch. Okay, now we're going to check the parametric aspect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our manage and parameters and I like to change it to something like 10 uh, making it large that way we can see if we've done everything right or if everything wrong. So it seems like it's scaled okay. Everything looks like it's in the same proportions. Uh, so through making a simple change on our parameter list, going from 2 to 10 or whatever, we're able to resize our snail cam. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much. Bye.